Hi guys, this is Michelle at Safe Sheds and it is a beautiful, sunny, a little chilly day here in Southern Illinois and I wanted to get out of my office. So I'm going to take you on a tour of one of our tornado shelters that was actually hit by a tornado. So let me show you around here. Uh, get out of the way and show you this shelter was actually uh, hit by a tornado, an EF4 tornado in Bologna, Arkansas in April of 2014 and it saved the lives of seven people and two dogs who were sheltered inside. So let me just show you a couple of things of note on this shelter. Um, you'll notice that there is not any structural damage. You can't see any structural damage um, that has ruined the integrity of this building. Um, you will notice there are a lot of flecks of paint. I'll just kind of show you up close here. Paint that was scoured off of the steel door from the debris that hit it. And you'll notice down here, you see that big scarred area, um, that's actually a dent where the rear wheel of a full-size pickup truck was picked up and thrown at the shelter and folded in half around the shelter and the axle, rear axle, struck the front of the door. And there's just the tiniest little bit of a dent. You can't really see it without being 3D, but there's just a little bit of a dent there, but it didn't do anything major to the door. And then if we kind of look over here at the side of the building, this top part up here, this is where the pickup truck was actually folded in half across the front of the building. And I'll show you a picture of that here in a little bit. You can see that just a little bit of the concrete was chipped away up here by that pickup truck. And that isn't anything structural. That's just a decorative edge that we put on the building so that it looks kind of more like a roof line you'd see on a garden shed. So there wasn't any structural damage that was done. The holes on the front are where the vents, the ventilation holes are. And that originally there were two black steel covers over the top of those um, ventilation holes and those were knocked off by the truck but they did what they were supposed to do and they stayed in place when the debris hit the building and kept anything from going into the building and damaging anybody or hurting anybody who was inside. Uh, nobody who was inside the building actually reported that they were struck by anything at all. I'll open the door and show you the inside. Here's the inside of the door. And you can just barely see, um, there's just the tiniest bit of a, a, a bubble here where the steel uh, axle of that pickup truck hit the outside of the door, but no damage to the door at all. Um, the reinforcing on the door held and there was no damage to the door and it wasn't um, broken or wasn't damaged in any way that allowed anything to protrude into the building. If we step inside the building here, I'm just going to real slowly kind of go through and show you all of the walls and the ceiling so that you can see there are no cracks, there's no structural damage to the building, there's no chunks of concrete that came out of the building or where there were any cracks or anything. Back around to the front, the beam here across the ceiling, perfectly fine, no cracks. We have this building not because there's anything wrong with it and not because the um, customers who owned it couldn't use it again when they relocated or when they rebuilt, but we wanted to bring it back here so that people could see what it looks like when one's been hit. And we took them a brand new one and exchanged a brand new one for this one. So we would have it here in Salem for people to look at. So you can see, you can see kind of up here where there's some mud and flex and that is where um, you see the ventilation holes on the back of the building and the filter is still in there, but there was a little bit of dirt and mud that was forced through the uh, ventilation holes, but everything is up at the ceiling height and the people who were in the shelter didn't report that they were struck with anything or um, that they had any issues at all with, uh, with anything that came in through those ventilation holes, just grass and mud. Um, but everything else, I mean, structurally, it's in, in great shape. Let me show you, I promised you a picture of the uh, truck that was folded in half. And here is that picture. The um, people who, the McDaniels, who owned the building, um, this was one of their pickup trucks. When they exited the building, the seven people who were in there exited the building, they had lost their mobile home and five or six other outbuildings and multiple pickup trucks and vehicles. This was one of the trucks. And this pickup truck was actually picked up and thrown against the building and folded in half. Shut that door folded in half around the top corner of the building with the back wheel coming to rest against the door as it 
folded in half and then blew on off from the shelter. So that's a full-size Nissan pickup truck, double cab pickup truck. This, just to give you an idea, is what they exited to and saw. You can see they lost everything they had. I mean, it just absolutely scoured the landscape and they lost everything. But they've uh, rebuilt and we've taken another shelter down there to them and they are um, very complimentary of the shelter and uh, have been very uh, good at talking to people and sharing their story with folks so that they understand the value of a storm shelter and specifically the value of a safe shed. So okay, I guess uh, even though it's a pretty day, it's time for me to go back inside. Uh, thanks for letting me uh, take you on the tour and if you ever get a chance to come down to Illinois and see us, we'd love to have you. Just give us a call and, and we'll make arrangements to meet you and we'll show you the building firsthand. Thanks. Bye.